Pressure is mounting to urgently bitumen, a forestry underpass linking Roy's Road to Biawa under the Bruce Highway. After wet weather delays, two deadly median strip crossings will be closed from next Monday. But the only sealed alternative can add 20 kilometres to a return trip. At a dead stop between four lanes of fast highway traffic, regular travellers of the two-kilometre stretch between Roy's Road and Bells Creek Road dread these intersections. They're notorious BOA black spots. They've become exceedingly dangerous. We've lost very um, well-known and, and loved people in our community on those intersections. The federal government's planning a $195 million interchange linking Roy's and Bells Creek Roads safely with the highway. By next Monday, the median strip crossings at both intersections will be closed. Traffic in and out of Biawa won't be able to cross the centre of the highway. That in principle is good, but they haven't, they haven't uh, thought about the local people. They're pushing us 20 kilometres out of our way. The nearest interchanges are at Caloundra and Johnston Roads. The pressure's on to build the overpass. In coming years, Bells Creek will be a major entry and exit point for Caloundra South, a development that will be home to up to 50,000 people. The local Chamber of Commerce and councillors say there's a short-term alternative. They want the state to bitumen this highway underpass at Roy's Road. We need to ensure that the underpass, which is a forestry track, is sealed and made as safe as possible. But Main Roads isn't promoting use of the underpass. This afternoon, a spokesperson said Roy's Road is council-controlled. Any upgrades will come too late for Bill Hine, one of two motorcyclists killed at the Bells Creek intersection in March. Everybody's, everybody's, you know, sad about it. And it, like, he was only around at my place the night before. Jennifer Nichols, Seven News.